John chapter 8, verse 44 through 45. You are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks of a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. These verses are rather striking because it implies to us that there are indeed some behaviors which are characterized by the children of the devil. If you ask people if they are a child of the devil, the majority of people will say no. People believe that they become the children of the devil if they bow down to him or if they worship any demonic image. It is not until you consult the devil before you are a child of the devil. It is not until you bow down to him or summon the devil before you are considered a child of the devil. We know some people are in demonic groups, the occult groups who worship the devil. You are not part of these people, and you don't even know anyone from there. And you believe because of this, you are not a child of the devil. We deceive ourselves a lot. We don't watch our behaviors. We don't watch the way we act. We don't watch the things that come out of our mouths and we claim we are not of the devil. The plain truth is that if you do anything ungodly, if you go against the word of God, you are not behaving like a child of God. Then I ask you, if you are not behaving like a child of God, whose child are you behaving like? If what you do is devilish, you tell lies, you commit adultery, you cheat people, you put something else above God in your heart, you fornicate, there is hatred in you, you envy, you hate peace, I love violence. Whose child are you behaving like? A child of God or a child of the devil? Do you obey God and shun the ways of darkness? Or do you shun God and follow the ways of darkness? What is your response to God? And what are your responses to the things of the devil? Jesus was talking in John 8 verse 44 to those who think they can just claim Christ with their mouths when their hearts are full of lies. These people reject Jesus. They reject the truth. Jesus made it clear to them who their father was. They did not bow to the devil in the presence of Jesus before he said they are children of Satan. They did not summon the devil before Jesus called them Satan's children. It was just one thing that Jesus saw in them. The number one trait of the devil lies deceit. So I encourage you today, my brothers and sisters, not to behave like a child of the devil. Tell the truth in all that you do. In whatever situations you find yourself in, tell the truth. Little white lies, half-truths, exaggerated storytelling, false impressions, whatever way you paint it, or whatever word you label a lie, a lie is still a lie. Let us behave like children of God and tell the truth. It is so easy to tell a lie. That is why we need to be vigilant against this sin. It's not as easy as other sins. Like for instance, other sins like murder or adultery. These are sins that require a lot of effort, but a lie requires zero effort. It can just roll off the tongue effortlessly. This sin is always just a few words away. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 25. Therefore, putting away lying, speaking every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members. Why have another? Are you a lying Christian? Are you still telling lies with ease and you don't feel remorseful about it? Do you generate lies in your head faster than Usain Bolt can run 100 meters? As the church of God, we are so quick to judge drunkards in the church. We're so quick to condemn adulterous people. We're so quick to judge and condemn thieves. But we turn a blind eye to liars and lying. 
I'm going to quote the scriptures about what will happen to liars in Revelation 21, verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. The Bible says all liars. I did not write this. Look, there is nothing like white lies. As long as it is a lie, it is a sin in the sight of God. The punishment might be different from the one who was a killer, but it's still a sin. And that still reveals that you are behaving more like a child of the devil than a child of God. You need to run from telling lies. Many people in the church tell lies with ease. Some people tell lies just to make people happy. Some tell lies to prove a point. And some tell lies to deceive and cheat. All of these are still lies. To be sincere in a world like this, it is not easy not to lie. Many people don't like to lie, but society will not allow them. People are being pushed to lie. Some are threatened and forced. The truth is that it's not easy to remain truthful in this generation. But God is looking for those who will say, it doesn't matter what the world may think. It doesn't matter what people may do to them. They will choose the truth over deceit. Someone asked a man how it was convenient for him to speak the truth at all times. The man told them that it is not easy and it is not always convenient. But regardless, he tells the truth in any situation. It is always easier and considerably more beneficial to speak the truth than tell lies. But we don't want to admit this. It takes a lot of thinking to tell lies and to cover up the lies with more lies. It's exhausting. To keep track of lies is exhausting. It actually can become a full-time job. Do you want to continue to lie? There's an old church saying that goes, anyone who can lie can also steal. If you can tell lies, then other sins will be easy for you because you can use lies to cover them up. A large number of little sins and big sins start with lies. If you are someone who commits adultery, deceit is the foundation. All affairs and adultery are rooted in lies and deceit because a person who is committing adultery has to lie about their whereabouts, who they are with, who is texting them, who is calling them. In the world today, people are deceiving each other. The government is deceiving the people. They tell lies to get into power. Wives are deceiving husbands and husbands are deceiving their wives also. We have children lying to their parents and disobeying them all the time. Parents are also lying to their children. People deceive people and this world is founded on deceit. We tell lies and when we start facing the consequences of the lies we have told, we start blaming God as if he commanded us to tell the lie in the first place. God is calling for a generation of truth tellers. As people who behave like his child, people who will not grieve the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth. The time is now for every believer to ensure they do not behave like the devil, but rather for them to behave like a child of God.